make sure that we stay neat and organized while we do it is, of course, Ken Wingard. Hey, buddy. Nothing is worse than having a beautiful room you've just done, and then you move all your stuff in. Oh, boy. And it's a mess. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have a plan. We're going to keep everything super organized and super good looking. So right. many good tips that we're going to hear uh, right now. Let's start with not only staying organized, but also keeping the entire kitchen efficient, meaning yes. where yep. do you put what inside the cabinet? And every, this is something everyone should revisit every now and again in their own kitchen. So let's talk about daily consumables, your food, your flour, your sugar, stuff that you eat on every day. You want that to be at eye level in an upper cabinet, okay. Okay. all together, all in one place. So all of your food stuff, even if you don't have a pantry, designate a cabinet that's going to be that. Got it. Um, next, let's talk about the other things that you use every day, dishes, glasses, and all that. You want that also to be in an upper cabinet, but an upper cabinet near the dishwasher. So for us, it would be someplace like Here. up there. Okay. And you want to open that dishwasher and mimic the movement of unloading. You yes. want to make sure you're not oh. on the wrong side and you've got clearance. It's such a good point, man. It drives me crazy when you have to unload the dishwasher and you got to like load it all over yeah. the other side. Of the okay, now yeah. you got me thinking. I think no, I need no. to replace <laughs> my dishwasher. I've done a few times. Yeah, I guess it's good. Now for lower cabinets, you want all the heavy stuff. So you want your pots, your pans, um, your appliances. Now, there are some appliances, if you use them every day, if you're a big baker and have a beautiful mixer, keep that on top sure, so you're not having beautiful. to haul it out. Keep your coffee maker up on top. But all those other things, down below. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the one last thing that I know you have the issue I do. It's all the specialty items. Your oh, yeah. Your Thanksgiving platter, your egg tureen. So those, which I have right there in front yes. of you, should go on an upper cabinet out of the way. I'll open beautiful. this up for you. Thank you, bud. Um, above, like a refrigerator, it's perfect. It's like okay if it's inconvenient. <laughs> you're only going to use them once or twice a year. You get out your step stool. You don't want to waste an everyday cabinet on your specialty item. Okay, so now we know where our specialty items right. are. We know where our food is. We know where we're supposed to put our dishes and our pots and pans. However, once we get them where they're supposed to be, how do we keep them organized inside of the cabinets well, and the drawers? There's efficiency issues, efficiency okay. issues. So first of all, you all got into this before we started filming. Difference between cabinets and drawers. Yes. <laughs> because you, you're done, you're kitchen, and say, oh, I wish I would have had a drawer there, yeah. or I wish there was a cabinet. You can get something like this to put in your cabinet to turn your cabinet into a drawer. It's magical. Th those are me. on rails right there. Everybody. They're on rails, see, they'll yeah. slide out. So let's say if you decide, oh, I want to put my cabinets there. Yeah, this is go. magical. This has you changed my life in these drawers. That into your cabinet. It, put your stock the pots and pans so you can easily oh, it's so wonderful everything. I and love that's a it. great point too, the fact even if you don't like you know in our kitchen we have some drawers that are made to look like the cabinets, but we also even if you don't have that, you can get these to put in drawers even without having yes, it. So yes, so keep everything That's divided. Right. Now let's go above that. I want to talk about ghost space. Beautifully done cabinet. We've got three areas in there, but if you're putting coffee mugs or something, you're not taking much. So take that half rack there on the left, Debbie. Okay. Pop that in there. I have All of a sudden, smell. you can put your coffee mugs on top and you can put your little cereal bowls underneath and you've doubled the amount of space on that shelf. It's not that happy. six inches of wasted yeah, space. Yeah, great. Me then we I also have, have well. these, that's a hanging drawer. This, I do not have, but I might be leaving here today with it. I love this. <laughs> Pop that up on one of those upper shelves and there you can put your napkins, you can put your hot pads, things like that. So that will take care of any sort of ghost space. Really convenient. The next thing that changed my life in my house, I always had this above my stove. You want to keep your muffin pans, your baking sheets and all that. They're all piled. I can never find anything. Just get one of these little pot racks. They come in a zillion different sizes. You pop that there and then you can keep everything organized where you can see it. And again, you double your space and you're not fighting and scratching them as you sort of pull them out. You can also exactly do this for right. frying You don't have hands. to like lift everything out to get the thing on the bottom. Exactly. And, the whole, yeah, and you, crazy. you know what else that saves you? From putting all of your pans and cookie sheets in the oven. In the oven itself. Is that what you do? Ding, 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 I do. I have a double oven, so I just put it in the bottom exactly. oven. You have a single right. oven in the storage. Exactly yeah. right. I've never used the bottom oven except for storage. <laughs> right with you, Deb. Next thing, let's talk about Lazy <laughs> Susans. Lazy Susans, single height, double height. I cannot say enough. You don't think about them, you forget about them. Put them in every corner. You can keep things like spices out, put condiments, olive oil in those back corners where everything's falling over. Put them on a Lazy Susan, you'll get them far, far easier. That's it looks fantastic. Great. They look good. I mean, they they really have all is. sorts of styles on Yeah, they're clean Absolutely. and beautiful. I now, love that. Now, we have to bring our attention to what I consider to be a real focal point. Now, we've got these beautiful barnwood shelves put up against the subway tile. Looks stunning. I really think it is going to be a big focal point. But 
we want to make sure they look fantastic and they don't right. look messy and a disaster. So things like this are a hybrid. Not only if you have these big shelves, but let's say you have glass fronted cabinets or glass fronted pantry or glass refrigerator. They're supposed to be functional, but also look good. So you have to really think about what can go there. Um, this is a great place to put some of your essential dry goods. Take them out of the bags, take them out of the boxes, put your flour, your rice, your beans, and some beautiful canisters that will match and just put those right on your shelf. They're beautiful and they're then convenient. That really is stunning. Also dishes. It's a great place to store dishes, but you can't put the random coffee mug collection from vacation. <laughs> you need to put your consistent color dishes, whether it's white or brown or blue or whatever, so and pretty. line those up. And this is great because you do this, you put your coffee maker there. It's beautiful and oh. very convenient. Yeah, and I like the fact it's not too busy. Like you say, all one color, all, all one, one color. Debbie's, exactly. Debbie's having a good time. It's, I'm, it's bringing tears to my eyes. This is so beautiful. You're going to be a mess when this thing's done. You're going to be so happy. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. I'm so excited <laughs> about our kitchen. Yeah. Me too, Deb. This is going to be fantastic. I mean, we're almost to the end of the renovation, but all of you at home still have a chance to win $50,000 Still a lot of money. Your dream kitchen. <laughs> it will still. always be a lot of money. Today it's a lot of money. Tomorrow it's a lot of money. It will always be a lot of money. All you have to do is visit HallmarkChannel.com to vote every single day on which hardware you think would look the best in our kitchen. Now, is it going to be the white porcelain, which I think is really pretty and clean, the black metal, which is also beautiful, or the brushed bronze. Make sure to vote. Let us know what you think. I know which one I like. <laughs>